Well, would you just tell him to help me? Help you what? Do Martin a Father's Day breakfast? Can't we just take him out for the burger? Because he's not special, stupid. Just help your sister. I'll set the table. Mum, what do you reckon? Should I do a scrambled egg? Because it's healthier than fried. Fry them. And the bacon. And do plenty of fried bread to soak up the fat. No less than he deserves. No less than what? A slap up Father's Day breakfast. Oh, very good. I've set the table. Ooh, somebody needs changing. Yeah, David, changing for someone nice. Get lost! <laughs> Mum, do you want me to go and get the baby? You do the eggs. I'll do it. Well, this is all very nice. You shouldn't have bothered with all this. Yes, we should. The best dad in the world. Mwah. Oh, thank you. Has she gone up? Yeah, finally. I think she was still hungry. Give her a piece of chicken. Oh, hardy ha. Oh. Wait a minute, old David. What are you doing? Sorry. You're a pain. What's that doing upstairs anyway? Oh, I was oiling the wheels. Well, in your bedroom? Anyway, your dinner's ready. Oh, well, now that's what I call ah. good timing. Oh, well, we can't serve it up yet, cos Sarah's busy with the baby. I'll do it. No, I can't help her if you've got room for a little while. No, that's just it. We've only got one chicken for four of us, Audrey. So, you help Sarah. I'll get dinner. You sit down, ma'am. And you, outside with that and then in for your dinner. Come on, I'll go and help Sarah. You know? How do you mean? Being rude to me, ma'am. She'll notice something's wrong. She notices now that's not about her. You're the one who thinks the world revolves around him. Well, it doesn't. It's about us, the family, the reason we're staying together. Yeah, and I'm trying, Gail. I'm really, really trying. You had no problems hiding the truth from me for months. You can do it for me now. Who's that? Who's that? No, nope. reject. Yes, you want to watch the football, don't you? Well, it's only Norway and Yugoslavia, and that marks only on backup play. Yeah, why should I expect that from someone who only washes the front of his hands and not the back? Yeah, catch. <laughs> oh, darling. Have you finally thought of a name yet? Come on. Yeah, I thought Brittany. Oh, yes, I know, sweetheart, but... Oh, come on, Gail, help me out here. Don't know what you mean, Mum. Oh, well, she can't call her after a pop star that nobody will remember in two years. Oh. <laughs> You know, you were nearly scarlet. Hmm? Well, they were showing old films at the Azaldo every afternoon, and uh, we're halfway through Gone with the Wind when I started with you. Uh -huh. <laughs> so they just named you after the wind instead. Go on, wind, Gail, keep up. Oh. <laughs> Shall I take her? <laughs> no, she's all right. <laughs> so is Brittany the only one you've thought of? Um, no, I've thought of a few others. Um, Shania. Oh. Oh. Bethany. Now that's nice. Yeah, or Becky. Oh, yes, now you're talking. Come on, that is timeless. Well, that's from the Bible, isn't it? Martin! What? What do you think of Rebecca? What? Oh! Are you still registering her tomorrow? Yeah, why? Well, er... Uh... I mean, the birth certificate. Uh, we know who the father is, so I think he ought to be named. Ma'am, we've been through this. Yes, I know, I know. Just had time to think about it now, haven't I? And I think it should be there for the record. Anyway, there's one little problem. Apart from the fact that we don't want to, we can't. Of course you can. Not without his agreement. Well, the lad's never denied it's his. The only way Neil Fern's name can be on that birth certificate is if he turns up at the registry office. Well, get him down there, then. Make the little beggar face up to his responsibilities. Then get him down to the vet and make sure he can't do anything like that again. I bet the flipping ferns will be jetting off to Mallorca, smiling their socks off at all you lot, up to your eyeballs in dirty nappies. Well, we decided from the start. <sighs> well, I think you're wrong. You're not even thinking of the little baby and all this, are you? That's precisely what we are doing. Oh. Gail, look, you grew up without knowing who your father was. You don't want that for the little one and all, do you? Well, I never had a problem. 
Yes, I never gave it a thought. Loads of kids are brought up by single parents nowadays. Th and that makes it right? No, but a name on a piece of paper is not going to make any difference to how the baby's brought up or how much love she gets. By the time she's five, he'll probably be at university, out of Weatherfield, abroad even. Now, what difference is his name going to make on a piece of paper? She probably won't even look at till she's grown up. I can hear you. Oh, sweetheart, we're only trying to help. I know when you are doing, but I finally decided. I'm going to call her Bethany. Oh. And not because you want me to, but because I like the name. And also, I don't want Neil's name on the birth certificate because he doesn't count anymore. It's me, my mum, my dad, and you, of course. We're Bethany's family.